start with one that some people are saying is maybe the year of the drive-in. In the LA Times, they were reporting about a drive-in concert that went down recently in Denmark. So people bought tickets in advance, about 500 people. And it was, yeah, exactly as it sounds, a concert in the car because it's a drive-in. Um, and this is a really interesting way to stay distant, yet together, yet apart. A drive-in concert, is that an idea that's appealing to anybody here? I think it's a wonderful idea. I really do. I honestly do. What makes concerts <laughs> awesome? Singing in the car on the way to the show, getting there early so you can get up front. <laughs> the moment after the, the lights go out before the band comes on stage. Maybe crowd surfing through your sunroof. Look, we're at home right now. We're missing social connection. <laughs> we want to be together. This is a wonderful idea. I applaud the innovation. Is it going to be perfect? No, but I'd like to see. I'd love to see it in Canada, and I think it's on the right track. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful job. I always love your spin of positivity, Neil. I mean, I I feel like one of the things that is absolutely true is that music is such a bomb for the soul right now. And we've been watching a lot of people who are musicians and uh, like projecting their stuff from home. And it's been so nice to see people connecting online in that way. For me, the situation, I'm not super into it just because I think most of the concert venues, the idea of a whole bunch of cars getting together and driving, I just don't think they're set up for that. And so I think it would be a nightmare getting there, a nightmare getting home. That then you add to the mix kind of like people who are under the influence, which often goes along with going to see live music. So for me, I'm not into this. I am into the idea of the resurgence of the drive-through, the uh, drive-in, drive-in movie theaters. I feel like right now we're going to see this summer more and more people trying to go to drive-in movies, and I am here for it. <laughs> drive-in concerts, <laughs> drive-in movies. How about a drive-in graduation? Um, I was talking to my friend, uh, Jeff Hutchison, a little while ago. Um, like all provinces, PEI is wondering, you know, what graduation will look like in the midst of COVID. And so the premier there, uh, Denny King, has, you know, asked for suggestions. He's talked about this. And a lot of graduates have taken him up on that, including Jeff's Jesse, uh, and, and come up with solutions. So Jeff was helping Jesse kind of go through different things, different scenarios, and came up with a possible drive-in scenario. So he found a picture and posted it to his social media of a drive-in movie theater and said to Premier King via social media, hey, how about this? So this is what he posted. Um, and basically, uh, you can see all of the cars there. So the cars would represent the families coming to the graduation. And then the students, while physically distancing, this is the idea, would walk across the stage slash maybe just like a makeshift thing and be on screen so that everybody in the cars could see their graduate. Mm -hmm. So this was the idea. Jeff says that this thing has been shared so much. It's picking up steam. So let's see what happens. Drive in everything, right? I, I have to say, I've never been to a drive in movie. So I've kind of romanticized it in my mind. I really want to try it. And, you know, in the movies when they have drive in, drive in moments, like the scenes are often really cool and romantic and someone on roller skate window and like gives you a milkshake and a burger. Like I really am into that idea. I want to experience that. Um, I also think it would be super romantic, even if you are in your car or even on the hood of your car at a concert during a slow jam and making out. Like, I've never tried that, would definitely want to do that. Um, so I am all for this. I have a few logistical questions about how things work, but I think for artists who are on the other side of this equation, we're talking about us as the audience members, but for artists, they need this. Like Cynthia, you mentioned a lot of the virtual concerts that have been happening lately, and I think it's the best way to do it now, but there is something a little flat about their performances and you can't blame the artists for it. It's because it's an energy exchange. We know this better than anybody else because we used to have a live audience and we feed off the audience. And for musicians, that's even more of like a kick up for when they're performing. So while they can't go back to how it used to be for the artists, this might be a way for the artists to actually be able to share their art and get back the energy and the enthusiasm 
um, the way that they need to kind of like take their performances to the next level. And you know what, though? Um, you know, I think there is that element. I get it because there's something missing. It's like there's a wall or a veil that prevents you from like fully immersing yourself in the experience. But I think we know that as humans, we are fundamentally social beings. And quite frankly, I don't know about you guys, but I'm just looking for any excuse to like get dressed up. I mean, I'm lucky we have the show because then I could do hair and makeup. But if you actually get groups of people together for something like you were saying, Marcy, like a graduation or if other people want to rent out these big screens for these like together apart situations, I could actually see this happening. Like weddings, like you said, Mars, graduations. My mother is turning 80 this August and I have a venue booked for a big massive blowout, which is now in question. And now it got me thinking when I read about this story today and also hearing your story, Marcy, what if you did have people together, but apart, there's my mom turning 80 and we want to like celebrate this milestone. What if you were a, a, a drive through theater, drive in theater owner, you could have like a, um, a camera that's set up so you can have like my mom or anybody who wants to say something about her in front of a microphone, uh, you know, on a camera, on tripods, just shooting her. It's getting beamed onto the screen. We're all sitting in our cars listening to her. And that is how we're able to sort of be together, but safely apart. I think it's actually really brilliant. Yes, logistical issues, especially in the summertime, it's hot. Like our cars running AC, like there's a lot of questions, but I think we could maybe figure this out if this is a kind of like our foreseeable future.